Hey friends, welcome back to Frazzle Dad's Minis. I'm Jim, Frazzle Dad. Uh, it's been a minute since I posted my last video. My last video was about my brother-in-law's passing. Um, if you haven't seen that, uh, I'll try to put a link wherever the heck YouTube decides to show it. But uh, we had some family stuff going on, so I was out. Um, and then when I got back, I spent a couple weeks working on... A couple weeks. I spent a bit of time trying to change my camera setup and uh, had a lot of struggles. Um, there was this awesome piece. And then I had a lot of things like this. So um, it's been an interesting uh, bit of learning about changing my camera setup. There's been a lot of profanity involved and frankly just I had to throw away a whole lot of uh, footage because it just didn't work. But I learned a bit and I'm cl uh, getting closer to getting the kind of production stuff that I want. Um, anyway, all that aside, uh, this video is on another Ravaged Star piece and it's Lord Tyrak. Turk? Turich? Don't know. This dude. Um, this is one of the main characters, and unlike my work with speed paint, I'm taking acrylic approach, just regular kind of display um, level uh, approaches with this. I'm also diving into trying non-metallic metal with all of the crazy detail, and I know how big a struggle this is, but it was a really good way for me to get some practice with... Um, brush control and start to work uh, again on smoothing out transitions and glazing. I'm also working some non-metallic metal on the blade and a couple of other things. Uh, so without further ado, um, we're going to jump into this. I've already got the figure primed and I've got a bunch of blocking in for the blue armor, for the cloak. Um, I had actually gone back and covered up some of the non-metallic metal gold trim because one night at 3 a.m. when I had an insomnia, I realized that I'd painted the entire figure from head to toe the same shade of blue, so I had no light transition going on there. Uh, so I actually went out to the garage with my airbrush and zapped on... Um, some underspray with uh, a mix of the blue and dark gray to give it some shadow and some depth underneath. And then I added in some white and did a bit of like Xenophil approach from the top. Uh, so now I've got three good zones of highlight, mid-tone, and then darker stuff down underneath. Um, but yeah, uh, here we go. Going to jump into it. So here I'm just starting my basic tear list of things I need to finish up on my figure. I find that kind of when I get about halfway through something, it's very helpful for me to start writing down the things that I need to focus on and keep working on. Um, so I, again, this is my paint journal. I just find it very helpful to keep notes on where I'm at, how things are going, and importantly, what I need to do so I don't miss something later on. So here I'm using AK's Rote Brown, Red Brown, and what I want to do is glaze a bit over some of the NMM to try and ease some of the transitions. Uh, glazing with lighter colors, something that has more white, um, tends to not work well. I've found this out the hard way and gotten good advice from people. So I'm doing this for two reasons. First off, glazing with a darker color. Uh, should help with the transitions. Also, that red-brown, the rote brown, is just a lovely warm color, and I'm trying to add some of that, not over the highlights, but rather the other parts. Yeah, 
here I'm using Pro Acryl's orange to try and get a better coverage on the parts of the figure where orange was. I'd used some scale color, uh, heavy bodied acrylics, and it just it didn't cover did not cover very well. So I'm going over it with Pro Acryl. It's turned out uh, much better. I'm going to have to futz around with that scale color because it's a lovely color. I was just getting bad coverage with it, which is probably 99% on me. But just continuing to block this out. All right, so now I uh, wasn't sure what I wanted to do with these gem-like pieces. I, I blocked one out. I like the approach, so going in with Pro Acryl Bold Titanium White as a base for orange uh, on the gems so that I can keep plugging on with it. Now I'm coming in with Vallejo's Clear Orange. I'd had, I think, um, that first kind of prototype. I think I'd used Pro Curl's Transparent Orange, and I was, wasn't was all that happy with it. I didn't want to go fluorescent, uh, so I'm trying Vallejo's Clear Orange here, which is uh, kind of a lovely paint. So just working on getting some more coverage down. Now I'm coming in, it took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do with the body of this blade. There's a bunch of crazy detail in there as usual with the Ravage Star pieces. Uh, I knew that on the edge I wanted to do non-metallic metal, but I wasn't sure about kind of the internal and top part. Um, so I'm doing NMM-ish. I'm just blocking out here with some gray. I'll come back in and do a little bit of uh, highlighting on it later. Um, but yeah, this is just working through this part of the blade. The back side of the blade, I'm working with a much darker uh, gray. I'm not going to be doing anywhere near the highlighting that I was on the front. Because it's the backside and it's in uh, it's in shadow quite a bit. Um, I'm also cleaning up some of the uh, rough spots I had with the initial kind of orange prototype there, and just continuing to clean things up and get color down where you need it.
and then hitting the teeth of the saw um, or the blade both on the front and the back with white uh, on the back i've got it toned down a bit because again it's in shadow and on the front i'm trying to use a bit of the uh, plain bold white uh, and i'll end up covering that up with some uh, blood for the blood god now i'm getting back to some of the highlighting so i've uh, got a very light gray that I mixed from the black and the bold white and I'm just picking out some of the mini details uh, lines and edgings edgings whatever edges on the actual sword blade to give it just some depth and yeah you know lots of edge highlighting type stuff again I'm not trying to work hard on making this non-metallic metal just giving it uh, some depth and some interest. Here I'm zapping the teeth with uh, pure white on the front. Again, I'll get some gore on this with blood from the blood god. Now I'm doing a light bit of glazing, trying to smooth out some of the transitions. Um, so this is just a watered down bit of that gray, trying to smooth things out. Back to work on the gems, and I'm using some transparent yellow to give a little color differentiation there. So I've got the orange, then a smaller area highlight with the yellow, and then I'll finally dab on some specular highlights with uh, white, but that'll be after a bit. And I'm getting the back as well, but it's, again, because it's shadowed and it's on the back of the character, I'm not working at that too hard. Now I'm going to add in a bit of blue glazing or not really wash, trying to glaze a little bit of light blue onto the silver part of the blade. Uh, I'm actually going to have to go back and hit the blade with more of this. I didn't really get down enough. It doesn't read to the eye or to still photography, um, but I was trying to be very careful rather than going overboard. Um, and, you know, just playing around. And that azure is beautiful. So now more washing, trying to, or not washing, glazing, trying to smooth out my transitions of the uh, gray to the lighter on the NMM. This is a part where I really struggle. And this is like where this right here is exactly where I need to get in many, many more reps. So it's just putting in the work and struggling a little bit um, and staying after it and looking a lot at how things are and deciding where I need to dink around next. And then finally, a little bit of touch up 
for areas that I missed or you know had poor brush control and trying to cover up some gray that got into those areas you know it's just uh, you miss go back and clean it up so thanks for watching uh, hope this was something interesting for you I'm nowhere near done with this but uh, this was a good chunk of work over the space of a couple days um, and learned a lot uh, and just getting the reps in non-metallic metal is hard and you know if you watch my channel intro uh, it was very obvious that I am not an expert at it but I'm just trying to get the reps in um, I heard somebody throw out a good phrase uh, you know getting the XP so you can level up and it's spot on if you don't do the practice and do the practice on hard stuff you're not going to get better um got some good things in here uh still not completely happy but made good progress and the figure is looking okay for where it is uh in the process So if you like this, please do all the things. I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you found interesting or what you found bogus. Um, yeah, so until next time, be kind, learn stuff, experiment. Remember, at the end of the day, it's just paint and plastic. Until next time, bye-bye.